Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're well and today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. I normally don't like to use those tablecloths. I don't know, not too fond of them, but I thought I'd lay it down so I won't hurt your ears. Let's get two cards representing whoever this person is on Sagittarius mind. Okay, well this was someone who is not working on the situation with you but they have feelings for you some of you there they may be at a distance which is why the situation is moving at a turtle's pace and others of you there could have been despite the emotions there may have been an ending here because of there is a lack of effort here how will this person view Sagittarius? Wow, this person's seeing you as someone who's deceptive, selfish. You're only thinking about yourself. You're immature. Yeah, this person isn't viewing you in the best light here. And the devil. Yeah, this person thinks that. Yeah, they're pointing fingers at you, saying you're the one to blame, you're at fault. I was getting this for one other sign here. And they're also saying that either you or this situation was toxic to begin with. Some of them feel that you snuck away and you're starting a new beginning elsewhere. So you may have had options. But you're, you're avoiding them, you're distant. And it seems that you're moving away from them, at least that is how they're perceiving you. How will this person feel about Sagittarius? Yeah, they miss you. Some of you, the situation ended as fast as it began, and others of you, the reason this person is sad is because there is no new beginning here. A lot of you are moving away and you're healing and this person is sad. They go from their moodiness, so some days they're, you know, they're sad, but there's also, they can be bitter here right? Putting the blame on you. I don't see them doing much. Let's see, what is this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? Yeah. Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords. I'm seeing blockages in communication, or there will be. Their intentions is not to communicate. They're saying the situation was draining me emotionally, and I'm not fighting with you i'm not fighting for this situation what action will this person take towards sagittarius wow yeah this person's angry um i wouldn't say angry they're upset they're distraught and they are holding a grudge and they're very moody some of you could have been dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio Yeah, they go back and forth. Some days they're thinking about the good memories with you. Other days they're thinking about the negative experiences, how you made them feel. So you see, there's a lot going on in this person's mind and heart. They're feeling very low, uninspired, and sad. Wow, that's heavy energy coming through. I'm not sure what happened between the both of you. Right? But there's a lot of sadness with whoever's energy I'm connecting with and they do seem to... I don't see you investing in this situation. There's delays here, but some of you felt there wasn't that equal give and take. And we did start off the reading where this person wasn't exerting effort um, to make this work between the both of you. So some of you may have felt that you... You can't keep going like, what is the obstacle here between three of cups? Uh, it can be a third party situation was an obstacle. Um, someone was having fun playing the field. They weren't ready to settle down. It was more casual, lighthearted. Why three of cups? And others of you, someone was still invested in a past situation which they had to release themselves from, right? 
So there was baggage from one or both of your past that was now proving to be a blockage here in this situation. Very few of you with the devil that can be toxic habits. And with the drinks here, it can be, right? Some addictions that were also proving to be um, difficult to deal with. So you may have chose to avoid this and move in a different direction if this person is perceiving you correctly. This person did have true emotions for you regardless of what happened. We have a lot of cups coming through in their energy. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, Five of Cups. But you're not investing in this. You don't see the situation going anywhere. You don't see stability with this person. Why Six of Pentacles? Yeah, it feels that when you were in this situation, you were dealing with this person, they had you feeling restless. Especially if you were giving more, some of you may have felt used, taken advantage of. Some of you, this person was using your resources, your finances. And others of you, you don't see stability because someone was always confused, indecisive. They never knew what cup to choose. And for others of you, yeah, um, fool, seven of cups, you may be keeping your options open here, right? What is the potential outcome between Sagittarius and the person on their mind? Oh, wow. Yeah, we have two nines back to back. That is my independent solo energy. I see you self-reflecting. Um, I see you loving yourself. And if you have been feeling some sort of way, you'll be feeling fine. Um, you're very much content within yourself, or you will be. You don't really need anyone. But I do see you being single and being very happy because we do have the Nine of Pentacles upright, sort of enjoying the fruits of your labor. Some of you may be wanting to go on vacation, pamper yourself, you know, a facial, a bath, good wine, chocolate. I don't know what you do to pamper yourself, but I'm definitely see, seeing self-care. Do you see how she's hugging herself here? Your outcome is amazing. It's beautiful. You're vibrating high. And nothing can touch you because you know your worth. You know your power. It's beautiful. Keep going, Sagittarius. You're on the right track. And moving forward, I don't see you, um, you know, wasting your time on one-sided situations or with people that are wanting to take advantage of you. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Yeah, they're saying you're embarking on a new journey here. Some of you have emotionally withdrawn, walked away from the situation. And they're saying, you know, a new doors will be opening up for you, but they are wanting you to work on building a solid foundation here. Yeah, they're saying they want you to build on a solid foundation is what I'm getting here. Because we have four of wands, five of pentacles. Some of you, it can be saving for a home. That'll be for few of you. Especially if you were neglecting your goals, your job, because of this situation. They want you to divert the focus back to yourself. Focus on the priorities. They weren't wanting to fight for this. They weren't wanting to communicate. I'm deciding to stay single. I can't handle anything serious at the moment. That is your outcome. So it is a mutual outcome. They're also choosing to be single and not communicate. And I see you doing the same here. Look at that. I'm going to leave you hanging. I only care about my needs. This is how this person was seeing you. They were viewing you as selfish, but it seems they also have selfish tendencies here. It's almost projecting, right, with the mirror here. Some of you, this person self-sabotage. They sabotage this connection with you. I'm going to find out what you've been hiding from me. I need to know before I completely trust this connection. Seven of Swords. 
You're hiding something from me. You're deceptive. What are you hiding? So there was trust issues here. Let's get one more. What is this person's intentions? Yeah. I'm only here. Can't talk. I'm only here to help you heal those parts of yourself you've been ignoring for so long. Trust the process. Yeah, there may have been some uh, mirroring here, right? So it's almost, it's mirroring, it's almost bringing out the worst in another. But there is a reason for that, right? This person was showing you the mirror and you them. So you could, it may have been triggering. Gotta work is coming through here. So this person was meant to cross paths with you, Sagittarius, because they were meant to, they're meant to um, heal you. Yeah, wasn't I saying self-care? Look at that. She's doing a facial here. Embrace your beauty and queen vibes. Give yourself some extra love and attention. Treat yourself to a facial. A rose bath or anything that helps you feel and see mind, body, soul. You're healing and you're doing very well. By the way, your finances are looking amazing here as well. And we have love sacrifice. Yeah, they're saying trust the feeling. Some of you, there was red flags here. So any nudges, feelings, don't ignore that. That is your intuition, your guide speaking to you, right, Sagittarius? We have love sacrifice. Don't sacrifice yourself in seeking love. You'll end up unhappy and hating yourself for it. Be with someone who makes you feel good. Yeah, those of you that felt this person was using you, you felt taken advantage of, you deserve better. And don't compromise your values, what you want. Because you deserve the best. You're queen vibes, king vibes. So you deserve another queen or king. Right? World is also Saturn for how we started off this reading. So it's almost this person came into your life as a lesson. Infidelity. Yeah, someone was um, a cheater, a liar. They were playing the field, causing the other person to doubt themselves, their self-worth. Risk. I keep seeing risk. Was there a distance between the both of you? Openness. Yeah. Someone was wanting to keep their options open. If it's not you, Sagittarius, then it was this person because we had three of cups coming through as the blockage. So casual dating, um, wanting to play the field. It's not too serious. I'm sort of curious. I never do this, but I'm curious to know what is going on in this person's love life. Whoever is on Sagittarius' mind, what is going on in their love life? Yeah, this person is fantasizing. They're looking for their happily ever after. Some of them have um, how do I explain this? They're very idealistic. Um, waiting for someone who's a perfect 10 and no one's perfect. So there may be some self-delusion here um, because they're searching for the perfect 10, but that doesn't exist. So they're in for a rude awakening here with the Four of Cups. So right now, I don't see much going on. They could be dating, but they don't seem to be satisfied with what is being presented to them. And a lot of them are living in uh, fantasy la-la land when it comes to their love life. Can be someone who's very romantic. Sort of someone who views their partner with rose-colored glasses and then, you know, once reality hits, they may run. That's for some of you. Especially if your person has Venus in Pisces. There can be that sort of romanticizing. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? 
We have decisions and change in direction will take both of them. Wasn't I saying this person was seeing you as moving in a different direction? It's time to get off the fence and make a decision. Decision. Choose an option or solution that you know you can live with and stick to it. Make a commitment. So if you've been indecisive or on the fence for too long, because we do have the two pathways here as well, they want you to pick a direction and move forward. An opportunity in a different direction is opening up for you. Don't be afraid to go down a new path. Let your intuition be your guide. Trust your feelings. Wow, that's two different decks. Look at that. Trust your feelings and trust the feeling. So that's a strong message today, Sagittarius. So if there is a new door opening up for you away from this situation, they're wanting you to take it. Take that risk, but let your intuition be your guide here. Yes, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. I hope this reading offered you the clarity that you were seeking. I'll see you next week. And until then, take care of yourself. Bye.